Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so a lot of people, just real quick, a reminder, refresher of what's a Lola, who's a Lola, why do I say hello Lola, Lola. Okay, part of it comes from me being a little illiterate. <laughs> Okay, seriously, I was reading this book. The character in the book name was Lila, but for whatever reason, I thought it was Lola. And Lila, in the book, she used to house sit these houses and she would always peep in. You know, she would have her binoculars or binoculars, as my grandfather called it. And she would look into people houses and make up stories and ideas of what was going on with them. And, you know, just kind of like, you know, just use her imagination of what kind of work they did, what type of person they were. So I can always say that it's like when you have a YouTube creator, they give you bits and pieces of their life and share information and share parts of, of them with you guys. It's like peeking in a piece of our soul or our world and you guys kind of make up your own stories beyond that because you don't never really get the full picture right so that's why i say lola's and then also um you know we be kind of nosy in a good way so all right lola's so let's do what lola's do best let me let you in on a kit that i have that i will be painting at some point <laughs> um like i said i gotta get on down there to the hardware store and get me another little Figgy majiggy for um for these heads so that I can work on more than one at a time. I'm actually probably as soon as I get done with this one, this one that I'm working on, I'm actually gonna probably run down and, and get one made. Um, probably, actually, I don't have to take it with me. I don't think. Anyway, <sighs> anyway, nevertheless, um, this. Oh my gosh, I should have got the. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh this sucks. I didn't, um, I, I took the COA and put it away. Anyway, this is Palmer. He is sculpted by, oh my God. Okay, I know it. I'm gonna have to look it up on my phone. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, guys. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. I put the COA, I, well, I know why I did it. I always put the COAs up so that I don't lose them whenever they come with one. Um, so Palmer is a cuddle baby with hands and feet sculpted by Gabby Down Donner Palmer. Oh, sorry, Gabby Donner. Oh, I like the name Gabby. <laughs> um, and Palmer makes, 16, makes a 16 inch preemie with one fourth hands and feet. It's cast in Ecoflex 20 and sold as a blanket, nobody included. Um, it is cast and shipped in two to three days. Recommended Reggie Ann body, custom large preemie, one fourth limb body, and da 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 da. And this is actually being produced and sold by Silicone Studio. Kathy Romero Biscuitty 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 <laughs> I still haven't did it um asked her to pronounce her name right but it's actually I did, I just realized that it says Sil Silicon Studio but it actually have um a little her name there in the little gold part I don't know if you guys can see that but um anyway so you have to go to Silicon Studio Two dot com to to find this I promise guys that <laughs> I am I am not like promoting anyone I'm just sharing the kits that I'm getting but I'm loving being able to find like you know affordable kits um the kit is like two hundred and forty five dollars um which is pretty cool and it comes with the head and I'm gonna show you guys now we've almost so I'm gonna show you guys I'm not gonna do no reveal I kind of just threw this here for you guys I am going to turn this so I can kind of have an idea of what you guys see. So this is one of the hands. 
So it actually got a little bit of an arm too, which is pretty cool because when I put it on the body, um, the baby can still can't wear like short sleeves, short sleeves, but like, you know, how the little shirts that come almost down, that would also work. And also when you like pose in the baby, you can show a little bit of the arm. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, it'll be my first time painting one with, you know, a whole like arm there, like a part of an arm there, which, you know, net, nail beds are doable. Let me see if you guys can see. Hold on. All right. So yeah, they are doable. They're tiny, but they're, they're there and defined. So you can see that. Um, hand is pretty detailed. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. There we go. Hand is pretty defined. Nice detail in hand. Actually, a cute little hand, actually. Looks better in person than it did on um, in pictures. This hand is... Um, oh, it has it in there. This hand is a fist. And it's a very nice sculpted fist. I do like that. Hold on. I do love the fist on this one as well. And again, another little arm. So I really like that. Oh, wait. How do I know which arm? I'll have to look at the pictures. Or I have to... Oh, I guess this would be this hand. And this would be this hand. Yeah. Because if I'm laying this way... No, maybe this goes here and this goes here. Oh, Lord, help me. Wait, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, this is, uh, this is over here and this is over here because, yeah, okay. I have, look, I have to, I'm over here laying, putting my hands out like this, trying to, like, put my hands up, trying to see which way the thumb how I tell is the way the thumb, what side the thumb would be on. So anyway, so that's, that's that. And then this is the feet. Oh, the feet are so stinking cute, guys. Oh my gosh. So they do have, look at they they got little, um, little ankle bones. Look at the little ankle bones. I don't know if you guys could. And then the little ankle bones right there. Lots of little detail. The little little wrinkly hold on i can't see let me turn this this way so i can all right so the little wrinklies you guys see that hold on i'll be still the little wrinklies in the foot and then hold on and then this this foot is really cute look at that it's a lot of little detail come on focus Okay, it's acting crazy. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, really? All right, anyway. But the foot, all the toes are separate except the last toe is not. So, hold on. Let's see. There we go. So, all the toes are separate. Mm, come on. Focus, stupid camera. Anyway, so that's that. That's that foot. And then this is this one. <laughs> I can see myself putting a feet on wrong. <laughs> on the body, but it's a good thing I can take it right back off. But yeah, oh, hold on. I got a little extra silicone on this one. Okay. And then this one, same thing. All toes are separate. Except for the last one is almost joined a little bit. This little piggy went to the market. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the little ankle bone. I got a friend that's crazy about ankle bones. That's why I keep saying that. Because she's like, you gotta have an ankle bone. You got an ankle bone. So, yeah. So, really cute little feet. Oh my goodness. Look at those little feet. Hey, Twinkles. Little twinkle twinkle little star. Yeah, so these are really cute. All right, let's get to the face. 
All right, face, the head is actually a good size. Um, this baby head is as probably like a good enough size like Kit. So basically it'll fit on the same kind of body as Kit. So I think he will also fit like small newborn clothes as well. Um, I am gonna order a large uh, preemie um, body from Reggie Ann. But I am going to probably put him in like small newborn and stuff. Um, his mouth is open. But it the kit does not come with the mouth open. You have to open it yourself. But he, oh my goodness. Boy, you look like you got um, tonsils and stuff back there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the mouth you can open the mouth um and if you're on facebook and um follow silicone studio on facebook you'll be able to see they show you how to open the mouth on the kits if you're ever interested in how to open the kits um mouth or um anything like that um they do show you how to do that stuff so open little newsy. So this is what look like the ears are really cute. So really cute ears. Cute ears. Hold on. Get away. So cute ears. Again, cute ears. Love the little eyelids and nose. So this is going to be a really cute baby. Um, it can, you can do it as a girl. Um, I'm going to make mine a boy, of course. <laughs> uh, um, so this is uh, for my personal collection, I think. <laughs> yep, this is for my personal collection. But... Um, Depending on how it go, I might actually paint one to sell later, but, um, I, oh, you're so cute. Oh, this is going to be cute. You're going to be cute. So, yeah. And then, look, you be done put, put the little thumb in the mouth. Hold on. Even though you ain't got nobody, <laughs> this baby need a body. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Okay, let me stop. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna get a good, give it a good bath and wash down, prep before time. In the meantime, I'm gonna wrap it back up, put it away, um, or put it in my container. I keep them in like a plastic container until it's time for them to paint, and um, one of those little. Um, you get them from Walmart or whatever. So I'm gonna put put them in that, and picking up all kinds of stuff now. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. A very neutral color as always. Um, this one has a little bit, maybe a little bit more coloring than maybe one of the other pores, but still a neutral color. There's no other extra colors in it. So it's not like a pinky tone or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so I'm going to get it. I'm going to get him all together. And I will share with you guys when he is done. Um, I have a couple projects in the works. But um, as soon as I can slide him on the table, I am definitely sliding him on the table. Because these stand up. So... Um, this leg don't, it stands up a little bit, but it's kind of a little bit more wiggly, but I can make adjustments. Oh, that feet, that, that foot looks so real. Um, but yeah, I'll, but I'll be able to paint like all the, the front and the back for the most part for all of you know, instead of having to keep flipping and all that stuff. I like, I like that. And, um, it sounds weird, but 
I'm intimidated to paint partials, but I'm not so much intimidated to paint these little pieces like this um, because they can stand up and I don't have to worry about and I can control it a little bit more. But I, like I said, I never painted the one with a little piece of an arm so or leg, so that's going to be interesting. But I like this because, you know, um, the baby can wear like long shorts or like capri-like type outfits and stuff. And if, it, if you have it as a girl, they could probably wear like little cute dresses that's kind of long or whatever. And you'll still have a little bit of leg showing. Um, it's just not just cut off right at the foot. So that's, that's kind of a plus. I kind of like that idea. So we'll see how that go. All right. So again, that is Palmer. Because I know people are going to ask. It's Pal The kit name is Palmer. Um... It is being sold by Kathy from Silicone Studio, but it's on the website Silicone Studio 2. Um, and I was, yeah, so, yeah, so just, that's where you can find these little tuca noodles at. And, oh, and someone asked me one time about, like, what do you do with these things, big things right here? Sometimes, depending on the body, um, depending on how the the body is set up. In the past, I've been lucky enough to be able to just put it in the body, and it it still it works out. Um, if need be, I could always cut it. But um, for right now, it serves the purpose of holding holding the. Uh, Holding the the uh, the feet and the hands up while you paint, so like it's almost like a little stand for them. So I love that. So all right, guys, I'm glad you guys could hop in and see, and we'll go from there. And just hope that I put put it the arms and the legs together right <laughs> on the right side. Oh, I love that fist. That fist. I love that fist. I can't wait to paint that. Um, so there we have it. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.